Hey everybody, uh, this video is going to show how to use uh, the short codes in the new version of the Beaver Builder plugin uh, as of 1.7. Uh, they introduced the, the Beaver Builder short code. Now, that can be used, of course, uh, anywhere in the uh, WordPress editor. Uh, let's say you uh, don't uh, have uh, the page builder uh, active for a certain page. You might not use it, and you may want to put uh, some Beaver Builder laid out content uh, within that page. Well, you can use it with a short code. Uh, but more interestingly is that you can now add it to your template or theme areas, I should say. Uh, Joomla is coming back in with template, uh, but within your theme. Uh, for an example, here we have a plain vanilla install of Dynamic Website Builder and Genesis running on WordPress 4.4.1 on XAMPP. Um, and as all DWB people know, uh, there is a header right widget area here, and of course, uh, here's your primary sidebar. Uh, for your widgets and um, of course with DWB uh, you can also have uh, the easy fat footer widget area right in here but for this example we're going to show you uh, how to use the uh, Beaver Builder short code uh, to add uh, Beaver Builder content up in the header right position as well as in the uh, primary sidebar and we'll plug a copy of one of them uh, in the home page here as well it's just in the standard WordPress editor um, so let's go and uh, start putting that together uh, we will come over here to the back end and uh, one thing I'd like to do here right away uh, just go over here to dynamic design and you uh, control and I kind of like PT Sans for these save changes uh, this is in uh, the U control area for font options so as you can see it now changed all my fonts to PT Sans uh, we'll just go and refresh I just find it shows up a little better in the videos and as we're not concentrating on anything in the nav bar, I won't adjust that. Uh, I'll just get rid of that new tab. And okay, so what are we going to do? Well, one of the th way I like to do it is to uh, add a new page. I'm going to call this one Create Saved Rows and Modules. And uh, I'm going to go down here and set that uh, to the no sidebar layout. Uh, we don't need it for this, and it just kind of clutters up the screen. So we'll go ahead and publish that. They don't have to, but I like doing that first. So let's jump right into Page Builder here, or Beaver Builder. And we'll just go blank. We're going to build our own. Now what I want to put up in that uh, header area here is a two column layout. Uh, I'm going to put a heading and then a tab module. So go over here and I'll drag a two column layout. And uh, before I do that, let me just go and drag it over here. I know that 28% works well for what I need to do. And in the heading, I'm going to go plunk in a heading, and I'm going to say most popular, oops, helps if I can spell it right, videos. That's all I'm going to do for that. I'm not going to adjust any of the padding or margins for any of this. Um, uh, you can do that on your own. That's just not really the point of this, it's just to show you how it works. 
Uh, so we're going to go over to the advanced modules, grab a tabs module, plunk it up there, edit the first one. This is going to be the title or label for the first one, and this is going to be dynamic website builder. Oh, I can't even spell dynamic right tonight. How bad is that? There. Now, what I'm going to do here right away, so I don't have to come back here later, I'm going to enter the short code. Um, the Beaver build short code uh, right now. And uh, so here it is. It's uh, square brackets uh, to enclose it. And then FL underscore builder underscore insert underscore layout space slug equals double quotes so between the double quotes you put the slug name or the, basically the name that you're going to give your save role or module and in this case it's uh, going to be a couple of videos uh, from the sniffle valve channel um, for dynamic website builder so to make it easy I'm just going to call it DWB when I create it. I haven't created it yet but we might as well put it in now. Save it and I'm lazy so let's just click the duplicate button edit and go over here and change this to Beaver Builder and I'm going to name that one BB uh, when I create it. Save and that's it. Now I'm going to save as, and I'm going to call this one Top Tabs. And I'm going to, Trabs, let's try ta <laughs> Top Tabs. And I'm going to make it global. Uh, I'm doing it the wrong way here. I'm not saving this, I'm sorry. I don't want to save this. I want to save the role. I got ahead of myself here. So it's here. It's the role I'm going to put in because I want both modules. Save as top tabs. I don't know. That's what happens when you do it on a Saturday night. <laughs> and I'm going to make a global here. So in case I want to go in and change something later, it's going to. Uh, propagate those changes wherever this is used. Uh, so click save, row saved, and done. Publish changes. And you can tell it was uh, global because it was orange. So let's go and put that in right now in our widgets just so you can see it in action. I'm going to pop in a text widget here and I should still have that on the clipboard. I'm going to put in top tabs. Now, one thing I'll mention right now is that uh, WordPress out of the box does not support uh, short codes in uh, text widgets. Uh, Dynamic Website Builder uh, has the correct filters uh, installed to allow that to happen as well as some plugins also allow that to work. Uh, one popular one that I use is uh, Contact Form 7. If you place a Contact Form 7 short code in a widget like this, it will appear in uh, the WordPress sidebar uh, even using the uh, WordPress uh, default 2016 thing. But anyways, um, I'll post the uh, filter that you would need to add to your functions uh, PHP file at the end of uh, uh, the description in the video for this on the Sniffle Valve website. And the link will be uh, in the description on this video. So anyways, um, with that all aside, here's the uh, short code. We're going to hit save. We'll have a look at the front end, refresh, click on the title, and there we have it. And nothing in it, right? Even though the short codes are there, uh, I haven't created the save modules for the videos. And you also notice um, 
it's laid out this way uh, it sort of kind of fits nicely and that's because ahead of time uh, I've come over here to dynamic design uh, in the header I'll just show you here that our widths I'm using the default width of 1140 uh, so I went and changed the title area from its default down to 300 uh, increased the header a widget area to 800 and removed the padding from the top and uh, that's one place you can go uh, to help uh, with laying out the uh, content there so with that done let's go ahead and um, create the uh, video modules so back into our uh, little page we're using for that and I'm going to do a two row or probably two column layout uh, right there and uh, I'm going to place a video module in each one and I'm going to use the embed type I'm going to come over here uh, from notepad plus plus where I have the embed code from that area on the YouTube video and make sure you use the embed code it looks like that I'll save that now I'm not going to mess around with paddings or margins here you can do that on your own this is just to show you how to do it uh, and I'm going to duplicate this one because I'm inherently lazy and it really wouldn't matter here because it didn't make any other setting changes but uh, if you do make margin and padding changes now that's a handy way to not have to do it over and over again just duplicate it the first one that was done correctly so change the code to the other video and save great now I'm going to go to the row and save as and of course I'm going to call this DWB and I'm going to make it global in case I want to change it later and saved now while we're here I can go up there and show you that but I'm just going to duplicate this one and click done publish changes and as you can see there's our videos and here's our two rows so go back into page builder go down to the second one now see this one's global this one isn't right so I want to go and change the code uh, to put in some beaver builder videos which I have here in notepad plus plus and I'll just paste that in save that and you can see we got a beaver builder video there now and we'll copy over here click on the wrench icon to adjust the settings paste and save and now I'm going to just go over to the row and save the row as what did I say BB click yes and save oh template saved done publish changes well without going to the front end we can have a look here and see that if I switch over I now have beaver builder and there you go so that just gives you an idea of some of the things you could do whether you'd want to do that or not but uh, it just gives you a way more flexible way to put some different kind of content in otherwise uh, hard to reach spots shall we say so let's go ahead and make another one while we're here and um, put that in the sidebar and let's put it right here so I don't have to scroll around too much. I'm going to do a call to action in a new role. Kind of popular. 
And I'm not going to change it much here other than to put an icon. Uh, let's use that. Okay, and we'll move it over here. Now, the style I want, and I'm going to use the stacked one for what we want to do. And uh, let's gussy up the button a little bit. Background color, well, we'll use the B sniffle valve blue, which is 0080C0. And the text color, and we'll use white. And just to make it a little bit larger so we can see it, make it 24. And save. And the roll. Oh, looks like our um, done. Publish changes. Here's our row. You see, it kind of got the uh, mixed up uh, with the tab one. Uh, but anyways, you can just uh, once you click done and publish changes, things settle down. So we're going to call this one CTA and I'll make it global as well and hit save. And OK. Done. Publish changes. And now we're going to go and put that in the primary sidebar. So let's go over to widgets. Grab a text widget, drop it in. I'll put it between the search and the calendar. And our Beaver Builder short code, and we call it CTA. Save changes. And let's go have a look. There we go. Just like that. Beaver Builder. Dynamic. Now, as well, like I said, you can go ahead and use this uh, on your pages as well, uh, your non-Beaver Builder pages. I mean, if you're using a Beaver Builder page, I mean, you could just drop in the save module directly. But uh, it'll be the same here. So if we want to put that one in, we can just go in and uh, call to action. Update. And there you go. And you could do the same thing with the Easy Fat Footer or wherever. Uh, you can put a text widget in your theme. And so that kind of opens up a whole new uh, area of uh, design possibilities using uh, Dynamic Website Builder and uh, the latest version from 1.7 on of uh, Beaver Builder. Alright, thanks for watching.